Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost you anything and others can benefit. Please remember this is a general reading and it might not resonate with everybody. Commitment. Now, this is committing to new goals. It could be committing to long term, anything that's long term. Putting, being prepared to put the work in. Peace. This is about finding peace and harmony, being at peace with yourself, grounding your energies here, deciding which way you're going to go forward. When we at peace with ourself and our uh, environment, then we make good decisions for ourselves. We can see the way forward here. So you would benefit from a peaceful, could be a walk uh, or taking time out. We could be meditating, taking a walk, doing something that's quiet, taking time out on your own some sort, finding peace within. The Six of Wands, the Tower card, that's where we're needing to find peace, and the Nine of Wands. Now, there's a Tower moment here. Now, Tower moments are whatever you consider a Tower moment to be. It's an upheaval in your life. It can feel like the rug's been pulled from under your feet, but you've been stuck in this tower and there's no way out. So things have came to a head. The universe has stepped in. It can feel very unstable. It can feel frightening. You could either be going through it or you've been through it. But after this card comes the star card and it's new hope and rejuvenation for you. So you're needing to move away from something that you were stuck to where there was no growth. Instability is gone. You're going now. It's been a very challenging time. You feel as if you've been through one thing after another, but you've still survived this. These are karmic lessons you've learned. So you can take these lessons with you and go forward to make better choices for yourself or go down better paths. Now, you will recover. You will find peace and harmony. This will. Be, this is a period of time you have to go through, but it will pass. And it's about you committing to new things by using or new situations or people by using the knowledge that you've gained. You will survive this tower moment. It's been challenging, there's no doubt about it. But you will go forward to commit to things and be successful again. Now, he's been through challenges, but he can still go on. Life goes on. He's chosen a path of growth for himself. So what this means is, it could also be that you're on a path where there's been challenging and there's been upsets, but you'll come to terms with it and you keep going. And you'll find success further down that road. It's a choice here. It could work either way. But there's been an upheaval of some sort. Now, it can be that even although there's been upheavals on the path you're on, you're still committed to it. It's a long-term investment of some sort here. So you will come to terms with this and you will go on to find success and victory further down the line, although it's been challenging. So sometimes this card can mean you're nearly at the 10. Don't give up before the miracles happened. It can be a very challenging time. There's no doubt about that. But you can still go forward and create beautiful things. You can still be successful and triumphant. And I'm kind of feeling that's what's coming through here. Now we'll clarify this tower moment and we'll see. Can we please clarify this tower moment? Ace of Cups. The Judgment card. So you're deciding, you see. The Magician. This is to do with something that you're manifesting. Now, it might be that you want to manifest something new and set new goals for yourself. You're making that judgment here for happiness. So I'm saying this could flip flop either way because this has become too traumatic. Uh, you need to find peace. You've been, you know, you've been through, put through too many challenges. So it can be for some of you new goals. This could also be a bit path you're on just now that you're determined here. Uh, you're making judgment calls on a path that you've chosen here. You've committed yourself to something. There's been an upset, but you're going to have to make a judgment call here. Now, this judgment call is yours. And when you make it, the universe is trying to support you here. When you make it, you'll be like a phoenix rising from the ashes and you can go on to success. Either way, you're going to be successful. You will get through this. And you're going to find a new happiness. You're going to balance your emotions out and you're going to go on to be successful and you will be happy. Now, this can be somebody coming back from your past or it can be a deja vu situation you're dealing with over and over again. It can feel like one challenge after another. Use the knowledge that you've gained here. So I said to you, this is all karmic lessons you're learning. Use the knowledge you've gained to make the right judgment call for you. It's up to you what you do. But keep in mind, this is about your happiness. So for some of you, it's about staying committed to the goals that you've already set. For others, you might feel as if you want to commit to new goals. So let's see what the Six of Wands says. Six of Wands, Spirit, please. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. 
the King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Now, it might be there's a lot of anxiety at this time because there's been a turn moment or you're going through one. This is natural, it's mental energy, but it's unnecessary worry. You need to find peace here. It's unnecessary worry. It might be that you've invested in something, like I said, where you've got long-term security or long-term financial investments, or you might feel very secure up till now in this situation. So you might want to stick with it. It's something you're passionate about. It's something that you want to invest in here. You have got the skill set to overcome these challenges and go forward to and, and be victorious still. For others, it might be that you're holding on to something you need to let go here. Um, and you need to start down a new creative path, whatever you're drawn to do here. So it, it's, it, there's two messages in here. But first of all, you need to find peace with yourself. And you will find it. You will find it. Listen to your intuition. Take yourself away from these challenges. Fear. Fear. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust it all as well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear and anxieties. It's unnecessary fear here. Things will work out for the best. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.